babysitter don't know if it's over. Right, so currently we have the transmission. You can see the fluid still looks very On there, you can just give this just a little tug and fuck that shit. Oh, a sec. Because I think this one needs to come out. Ah, so right. Screw tracks are so convenient. Press me. Up to you if you want to. I'm do numb. It. Jack now, about to be lowered. Sure. There she is. Soft fly bill. Not too bad. Ooh, it is? Nice. Perfect clean. Fuck, I just want to beat them. Under? Under the car. <laughs> Go. Let's go. Let's do it. And yes, that is. So, I'm just gonna replace the pan, but. Yeah. So far, so good. So this is with the S55 flywheel installed, 
so far I don't hear, there's no sort of noise, there's no sort of nothing, everything so far so good. So far so good. It actually feels quite nice. feels actually a little bit lighter but I do have a tune on this so there is that temps are not too warm right now so far actually feeling very nice oh wow yeah it feels so much better holy shit that is that is a big difference from before Wow, that was a clean, smooth shift. Holy shit. Wow, that feels so good. That's not even funny. Quick overview of the things that I did. So first was drop the transmission, tr drop the transmission, do the rear main seal, um, put an S55 flywheel, and then I changed every single gasket and the fluid on the mechatronics, on the mechatronics, on the DCT transmission. So that was dropping the pan, that was dropping the side filter, that was the filter inside, the suction tube inside that has a couple O-rings, and then the fluid, and I believe that is it. And it drives beautifully. No leaking from the rear main seal as of now. No leaking from the transmission. Fluid topped up just fine. Um, this is not a DIY video. Like um, there are a lot, there are many, many, many others out there. Um, I actually used a very, very good video and I will actually link that in the description. It's about 45 minutes long, but it's a great, great overview. Beep and um, yeah so it's a great video talks about it um, talks about what you need to do for the procedure talks about what you should have what you shouldn't have you know just those sorts of things and uh, the software you, you should use I did not use ISTA for this um, but I did follow exactly what TIS says uh, by looking at the transmission temperature and letting that get to 32 Celsius and then holding the RPMs at 2000 for about a minute and that gets fluid kind of moving around and then from there you have until 40 Celsius to fill the transmission fluid. All right, so we ride the, I guess, destination, but car is all good. It's only driven about five miles, but I think I would have found out something was wrong much sooner. Um, yeah, so, it's the vendor. No sort of So far all good, no lights on the dash. <laughs> 